Hi, welcome to my review. It's been a long time since I've made a video because um, I'm getting my house extended and the builders have been coming in to extend it so I haven't really got much time to make any videos and well I'm hoping I can make a few more now. Um, as you can see here I have my um, Doctor Who end of time sonic screwdriver from the 10th Doctor's period. Here's the packaging. So there you go, it's got um, features, UV pen and UV light, write and reveal hidden messages, slide out sonic wave emitter with two sonic sound effects, and it has the 10th Doctor's sonic screwdriver in there. Here's got the black ink pen and batteries included, and here's the price, 7 99 good price on Forbidden Planet. Here it says with ultraviolet light and a pen, and um, just there it says limited edition pack. And as you can see the packaging is very nice with David Tennant on this side, Matt Smith on this side and they've made it all reflective and stuff like that it's a shame they just had to put the sticker over here on David's face turning it around you have um, how to install the batteries here you have the same thing as written on the front here a picture of the sonic fully extended making a buzz sound and here is a um, description um, if you'd like to um, read it I'm just going to quickly do this so you can pause it if you want to read it. Okay, um, so now that I've showed you the packaging, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly open it up. So give me one second. Um, this isn't um, mint in the box. I um, just put it back in the box for the sake of the video. So just taking a bit of the cell tape I put on the top of the box off. Okay, um, as you can see here is the card, looking very nice, and um, what's also nice is you see the TARDIS in the background as he's regenerating, you see the console there, there's the flooring and it's all on fire because David's regenerated, it looks pretty cool. Okay, moving this to the side. Here's the Sonic, and here is the instructions. Um, what I used to like about these instructions, because um, I had like, this is my third version of this Sonic. I had the Eccleston one, then I got one with psychic paper, and now this one. What I used to like about these instructions when I was little is um, it used to have this bit here, looking after your Sonic screwdriver toy, and it'd say how to extend the life of your Sonic screwdriver. Um, it's nothing special or anything like that, but it, I just found that appealing as a child because it helped me look after my Sonic screwdriver and some of the advice actually works. But yeah, here's your instructions. Show David Tennant there, and um, if I just quickly show you here. There's more writing. Yeah. Pause it if you'd like to read it. And there's more instructions, things like that. How to look after your ink pen, things like that. Nothing special. <clears throat> now then, time to get onto the actual screwdriver itself. So I just take it out of its box. And now just take the um, UV ink nib. As you can see it has UV ink nib written there. And when you take this off, there's your nib. Now then, onto the actual screwdriver itself. Um, it's got nice detail, the cracking effect. Um, if I just wait for the camera to focus, there you go. It's got nice cracking effects going around it. It feels nice. Um, as you can see, um, this design is practically exactly the same on both sides. It's just two pieces of the exact same design stuck together. I don't know whether you've noticed that, but yeah, that is how they've done it. It still works nicely, I think, so not too bad. Anyway, um, here is where you would um, install the batteries by taking this part off and unscrewing the screw. As you can see I've got a bit of blue tack in there because it holds it on much easier because if I was to drop it, it'd probably fall out. Anyway, you extend it from here as well, like so. What I like is um, it locks into place because as you can see there, it kind of widens a little bit so it locks into place. So it also locks into place at the top and random other spots like there. It's pretty cool. Um, 
here is where you can activate the sounds when it is in closed mode. As you can see, it's um, purple because it's a UV light. Um, if you want your sonic screwdriver to be more show accurate, I'd recommend you buy the one that comes with the sonic pen because that doesn't have the UV light feature and when you turn it on it won't be purple, it'll be blue um, on camera it looks bluish so not too fast really um, and when you extend it, this is the button you use so yeah that's pretty cool um, if I can just quickly get a bit of piece of paper I can quickly show you what it's like with the um, UV pen and that thing so you just bear with me for a second Here we go, got some paper. Um, here is the um, black ink nib, just writing. And um, yeah, here is the other ink nib, she's got the UV light. Um, mine doesn't work that well though, so if I just. Uh, if I shine it here. Yeah, you can kind of see, I've done like, just a squiggle there, I don't know whether the camera, yeah the camera's picking it up kind of, but yeah that's all I did, um, if I just put this back on, um, this screwdriver is actually, um, pretty small compared to other screwdrivers, for example, if I just leave this here, and bring in the 11th Doctor's sonic screwdriver, can show you the difference in size. As you can see there is a very big difference. Um, also if I'm to hold it like this and then extend this. It nearly is the same size as the 11th Doctor Sonic screwdriver until you extend it and it's too big for the camera so I have to move even further back. So yeah there's that. Just showing you a size comparison to a different Sonic. Um, and um, just before I end the video, I'll show you what this looks like in the dark. So, if you let me just turn off the lights. It's very bright. It looks very purple as well. Unless I'm shining it against that. On the camera it looks blue, but when I look on the actual wall it's purple. Also, it might show up a bit better now. There you go, you can see it better. It's just there, it's like a squiggly line. So, um, yeah, that's the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be doing a review on my 11th Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver, and I will be doing a review on my replica TARDIS key soon. And I'm hopefully going to be doing some more Doctor Who action figure reviews. So, until next time, goodbye.